Hey fam, it's your boy Matty D. I'm coming at you today. It's Wednesday, July 21st. Uh, talk about some drama that happened in Toronto. Um, there's a lot that happened today in Canada. I think the quick summary of the boring shit, just to get out of the way, uh, the Green Party of Canada uh, decided that they were going to continue to fight Anime Paul, even though she promised everything was over. Uh, but it turns out that's only because uh, it was arbitrated so, but it may not have been fairly arbitrated so, uh, so they're going to fight her in court over it. Green Party is not worth your time. They're not a serious party for serious people. and We've got serious problems we have to fix. Forget the Green Party. Um, so, with that said, this picture on screen comes courtesy of Jay Watts, uh, an organizer with the Communist Party of Canada. He does a lot of really good work and is almost always, no, he's always on the front line. Um, this is not the first time he's caught cops doing stupid shit. Here you see them pulling out the move uh, that kills people. Uh, they promised they were going to stop doing. Uh, previous to that, he caught them pepper spraying people when they promised they were no longer pepper spraying people. Uh, so mad respect to him for how often he gets out there and kind of supports those most in need of support. Where was the NDP? I don't fucking know. Uh, on Twitter somewhere. Uh, where's City Council? Same thing. Uh, I think we've got... Um, so Comrade Dylan, hey, Mac Mike Layton, this is the kid of Jack Layton. I know you're opposed to this, but this can't continue. This is outrageous. What's the plan for challenging? Um, and then I don't think he, he has anything coherent, just like a bunch of like random text and videos from people who were on the front line. Um, it's, I, I, think, I think the liberal parties are kind of exposing themselves um, to just be useless for the people. I really respect and appreciate the Communist Party for being out there and a lot of other really good groups too, like uh, Surge Toronto. And I want to say, I know people are already pissed off on being so possible the Communists. Offline, the Communists are the coolest people. I don't understand why they're such assholes online. And if you dislike them, it's probably because someone was rude or mean or just dumb online. And I don't know why that's their persona. I think they like to bait people because then they can dunk and share it on like Discord. I don't know what it is. Offline, they're super cool people. Do not judge them by their online presence. I don't know why they're such assholes online. Um, so with that said, uh, I, I think there was like some really good work done there. So please check out the Communist Party. Uh, please check out uh, Jay Watts, um, the Hoser. Uh, please check out Surge Toronto. If you don't know, like a quick summary of what happened, and I'm just going to mute this so it doesn't blow up your ears. Set up. Um, so we had uh, City Hall from Toronto order in the cops. Uh, there's a peaceful encampment of people who were trying to survive, unhoused people. Um, people were trying to support them because it's a peaceful collection of individuals just trying to survive capitalism. Late stage capitalism, the best kind of capitalism. And the cops come in, start pepper spraying, hitting people. Of course, the cops injure themselves, as they always do. They're trying to get some pity points online, saying some cops were hurt. Never trust them. They always hurt themselves. They're just like the dumbest, most like klutzy cute little baby animals um they're just it's astonishing that they expect any sympathy um so this happened and while this is going on uh the cops injure a bunch of people they arrest people like jay watts people are just there taking pictures proving the cops are doing illegal shit again like this move kills people why the fuck are you doing this to peaceful protesters uh and sorry, and they're not protesters let's be clear they're not protesters they're not demonstrators these are peaceful people surrounding other peaceful people trying to live in tents uh during like a climate that's killing us while we aren't taxing billionaires they're just trying to exist and this is how cops spend their time absolutely soulless absolutely disgusting i smile because otherwise i would cry um, okay, so this is what's happening right now, right? Cops going in, they, I think, arrest 25 people, and then shout out to the hoser who follows. Um, the p cops take them down to a uh, district. Um, <laughs> protesters, sorry, again, not protesters, the peaceful people who've assembled have lawyers, right? Like, generally, you think maybe there's law in Canada. Not really. Um, so they're there trying to get the, their representation. The cops refuse to let anybody in the building, not lawyers, not anyone. And then, of course, the cops start pulling out the sticks, beating on people, uh, pepper spraying and whatnot. I have to say, on the left, unfortunately, we want full freedom, full joy, full potential, full happiness achieved for every individual, inclu including cops. I wish them a very happy second career after we defund them. That said, you watch these people wailing on defenseless individuals with their sticks uh, while they're like <laughs> using chemical weapons on them. And it's like, is there going to be consequences like longer term? Like there has to be something. Okay. I'm going to go off. I'm going to lose my mind. 
we need to rally around and figure out how we can make a difference, right? Like, we were already agitated. We know this is bullshit. This has been going on for over a year already. What are the next steps, right? Like, we're pissed off already. No more agitation. What do we do? I think the solution, uh, if we look to the states where they've been successful in fighting against cops and defunding, is uh, municipal movements. And I think the best we have in Canada right now is Horizon Ottawa. They do a lot of really good training and, and organizing around uh, defunding the cops, fighting for transparency, and fighting to uh, get the rich developers out of City Hall. Ottawa is like a really tough, <laughs> tough uh, uh, political climate municipally. And they've done a really good job of connecting people. And I recommend no matter where you are in Canada to reach out and see if you can kind of learn from them. They run a lot of workshops uh, through Zoom. So you can kind of see them bringing people from around the world talking about how you build power locally and how you use that power to affect real change. Uh, and then they also do stuff like uh, events and random things to try to defund the police and fight for transparency. So there's a lot to learn from them no matter where you are in the country. And then you can use that either with like your own socialist or leftist groups within your own municipality. And if none exist, they will. Maybe you're the one who starts it. Uh, but until that time, uh, maybe build up your network with other mutual aid groups like tenant unions, uh, the groups like Food Not Bombs, uh, care mongering groups on Facebook can also be a good way to kind of just get in touch with your neighbors, find out where people are already agitated and start kind of uniting people in terms of organizing uh, to affect real change um we'll talk about that more in like different videos and whatnot but this is the thing that was heaviest on my heart today watching this brutal violence take place and it's like fuck we've had enough um you see people recording this shit and you know that we as a society are done with this so start organizing uh, in your cities um and then always feel free to reach out to me and i'm happy to support however and try to like make some connects and i'm always excited to learn too so if you've got something you feel like should be um shared or discussed i want to learn from you as well um, please comment or, or DM me or whatever. And uh, <laughs> I wish you a very peaceful and relaxing evening, uh, unlike what a lot of Canadians had. Uh, sending you nothing but love and solidarity. Peace, fam.